Here we go for the first ever gold medal awarded in women's Olympic hockey. And Canada shoots it into the U.S. zone. Here comes Heaney on a bad line change by the Americans. Shot! Oh, and a good save by Teeny. Threatening looking chance for the Americans. Now, pass in front, Schmigdahl bangs at it, it's loose. Backhand save! Oh, that was close. Nystrom lugging it out to center ice. Big shot! It's loose! And Teeny finally smothers it. And more bad blood after the whistle. What a great chance by Nystrom. Back to the point, Burtz beating Sandra White. Back to Uli and shot score! The U.S. are on the board first. Gretchen Uli. Here's Wickenheiser. Big shot. Just fly. The biggest shot in women's hockey is six inches wide of Sarah Sheeting's goal post. That last shift was a good sign. That's the best shift Haley Wickenheiser has had in the last two games. She was dangerous every time she touched the puck. For the first two periods, the Americans dominate, but the impressive goaltending of Manon Rayon keeps the U.S. offense in check. For the start of this third period, imagine the pressure. Who wants it more? One goal, one nothing. The USA leading Canada. One period to go for the first gold medal ever in Olympic women's hockey, and we're underway. Crowley with a chance in on goal, cross the crease. It's on the goal line. What a close call for Canada. Passing into the In the corner, third period, Williams. Canada goes on the offensive, and the USA fights back. Shot on the side of the net, score! Power play goal for the USA. Down 2 nothing. Canada must score. Heaney. Grolet checking Bailey. Here's Wickenheiser in front. He scores! Daniel going in. There's a minute to play. Rizal keeps it in for Canada. Royette heads to the bench. Shot! What a save by Teeny. Sandra White bearing it on goal. It's in. It's over. But it was one hell of a hockey game. I think where we broke down is we just didn't capitalize on our on our power plates. Granted, 
I mean, USA is going to enjoy the ride we have for a very long time, and it was the greatest run of, of, of women's hockey. There's no question that there's a feeling of emptiness when you come this far on this long of a journey to win a gold medal, and you don't. And although we fell short of our dream goal, I don't feel we felt short at all. We're very tight as a team. We've had a tremendous experience together. And the only thing I'm sorry for is that we just didn't score a little bit earlier in the third period because I think the floodgates would have opened. But we didn't, we fell short, and I'm proud of the girls and we have an Olympic silver medal. Haley, Shannon told us a couple of days ago that you were hurt, but she wouldn't tell us what was hurt. Um, can you tell us now, and should you have been playing? Uh, okay. <clears throat> In the Sweden game, I, uh, a girl fell on my knee, and I uh, strained my MCL. And then... Uh, yeah, the, the U.S. game that we played... Uh, I fell on my elbow and uh, cut it open for a few stitches and uh, may have possibly fractured it, but they're not sure, so. Just a couple of bruises and bumps, but uh, I wouldn't say they affected my performance too much. After all the years of dreaming and sacrifice, the Canadian women will need time to measure how far they have come, to value the prize they have won. You just try your best and you just want to go out there and give everything you have and um, things happen and I just feel like we were a bit nervous. We missed a few nets and then, uh, well, we should be proud to have a silver medal. that's been difficult but when I was standing on the sidelines and they hung the Olympic gold medal around Cami Granado's neck who's the captain of Team USA what went through my mind was wow a female hockey player is getting an Olympic gold medal placed around her neck and it changed everything inside me I lost that empty feeling and I just felt such a sense of overwhelming pride to be a part of it <laughs> To the Japanese, the women of Team Canada are winners, Olympians, who, with strength and courage, have brought their game to the world. Throughout Canada, legions of young girls and women have been rising before dawn to watch their dream team play. When the history of women's hockey is told, these Canadian pioneers will have a place of honor. Thank you. As the Olympics draw to a close, Canada House salutes the women's team. This is our first year on the team, but the support we felt is unreal, and we're roomies here yeah. at the Olympics, and we got FedEx packages from home, and so we each got, like, she's from Hagersville, yeah. and I'm from Winnipeg, so we got all kinds of stuff from everyone at home. Our room was absolutely covered. There's not a... our, our room is covered from just, you know, floor to all the way up to the ceiling, just with posters and banners and cards, you know, cards and everything. So thank you, everybody. I would like to say that I had one of the greatest times I've ever had just living with these two. It's been great, a lot of fun, and like 
I think we just got along so well. I don't know what you guys think. No, I don't know. <laughs> no. Hey, we'll be here for a while. We'll be around for a while. Women's hockey is not going away. So, watch out. <laughs> I think one of the things that we've really learned is your maple leaf is your passport yes. to the world. Um, anywhere you go, people want to take a picture of you. They want to touch you. They want to shake your hand. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen that in no. any other country, and it really makes you appreciate when you go abroad. You're getting really <laughs> getting, but No, that's one of the great things <laughs> about being here is that you really realize how great it is to be Canadian. Save the best last to all the Western people out there and across Canada. Thank you very much for all your support. Uh, we felt it no matter what you guys said. Do your best. Whatever comes out of it, we're happy for you, and we truly felt it, and thank you for it all. I think that the whole tournament has done so much for the game. I'm sure there's a lot of young girls watching that can set their goals at, at the Olympics now. And they've got women to look up to in their sport and to follow and to set their goals high and go for them.